I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. Before we conclude our programming today, more than 500 people came north for Rochester Day at the Capitol. Now, for the past decade, residents have had informal civic lessons and non-professional lobbying. Senator David Sengem explains why this day and this session Senator are so Senator Sengem, this is the 10th year for Rochester Day at the Capitol, and these events tend to highlight the various concerns from different cities like Bemidji, Rochester, St. Cloud. Why do you think it's important to single out cities here at the legislature? Do you think it's important? Well, the legislature really doesn't single them out, but what, the cities single themselves out. And, and it's an opportunity, in, in our case now, for Rochester to be here today to, to talk about issues which are important to the city and to its future, and likewise for any other city to do the same. Uh, and that's really important from the standpoint of a legislature, uh, to hear firsthand from the people. But then moreover, what, what I've found over the years is that people in many cases have never been in this building, don't understand the legislative process, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a huge civics lesson for, for these folks, and so it's really important. And you were talking about the issues, and recently Mayo Clinic leaders said that they were counting on tax diversions worth, worth more than $500 million to pay for anticipated public infrastructure needs for a multi-billion dollar expansion. So do you think, is that a high priority for the people who are coming up here from Rochester today, and do you think that they will convey that message to legislators? Well, certainly it's a high priority for the people coming up here, and I think it's a high priority for the state of Minnesota. As you think about Mayo, and it's a, it's a it's a, frankly a national resource, certainly a state resource. Uh, Mayo brings a lot of outside money into the state every year. In fact, equal to two Olympic games. And, and when you think about that, and you think about that resource, you want to take care of it want to work with it and try to ensure its futures in Minnesota. And DFL leaders have said that the project needs extensive scrutiny because of the financing plan. It could set a precedent. So your caucus is typically one that's cautious in using public dollars for, um, for private businesses. So how do you navigate this, especially having the history with the mail that you have, having worked for them? Well, I, I just think it's such an enormously positive thing. Anytime we can do something to work with any, any business, uh, in this case to bring upwards of 35 to 40,000 new jobs into, into Minnesota. That's a positive and we just need to work to make it work. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm confident that at the end of the day we'll be able to do that because of, of not only who Mayo is from the standpoint of, of their stature and everything else, but just from the standpoint of value to the state of Minnesota. This is an enormous resource. And, and as things go well in Rochester, things will go red, well, frankly, all over the state of Minnesota. Well, if Mayo doesn't get the money, do you think they'd go ahead with the expansion anyway? Uh, this is this is a threshold for Mayo. Uh, there will always be a Mayo Clinic in Rochester, more than likely. It is where Mayo Clinic will expand and grow their future, whether that's in Phoenix or whether that's, uh, frankly, in Florida. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why it maybe shouldn't be in Rochester. We want to make sure that it is. So getting back to Rochester Day at the Capitol then, do you think having so many people having an actual physical presence here could be a fence tipper for this area, for this particular uh, Mayo Clinic request? Well, I think it, it, it always helps, certainly uh, uh, an indication from your local community that they support this thing, that they're on board, uh, and, and the enthusiasm behind it I think is a little bit contagious. So it's all additive, but this is certainly a, an overall, overall, frankly, net positive. Senator Sanjum says his Mayo Clinic legislation will be introduced in the Senate on Thursday. Well, that wraps up our coverage for the day. The House will continue to hear testimony on several proposals to change the state's gun laws. Those, that hearing begins tonight at 6 o'clock. You can watch it online at house.mn.